In this video, we're going to discuss the Ventus MX4. Start by pressing and holding the left hand power button to turn the unit on. As you turn it on, it's going to beep, and there's going to be a 20 second countdown as the catalytic bead heats up inside the LEL sensor. Pay attention, this is a new step uh, that we're adding to the bump of the meter. Press the left hand power button twice until you see the null zero on your screen. What this is doing, this is taking a reading of the current oxygen level that the meter is in right now. This is setting the normal for the meter. Whenever you bump test the meter, it sets the highs. This is setting the normals. Press the left button one more time to see BT on the screen. Press the right button once and the first sensor is going to start flashing. Get your bump cap, snap it onto your meter. Squeeze a one to two second burst from your bump can into your bump cup. This is going to read the highs and show a P if all three sensors read the bump gas. And once all three do have a P on them, remove the bump cap because your meter is ready for use. Let's talk about some of the features of the MX4. First, if you see a check mark in the upper left, that means that the meter is checking the quality of the air that you are in right now. This is the home or monitoring screen. From the home screen, press the left button one time. That's going to take you to the calibration screen. This is days since calibrated. And yes, you saw that correctly. This is a meter used for training purposes, not for the field. So it has been 600 days since that meter has been calibrated. This meter will be calibrated at every department meeting. So make sure that you take it with you and that it is charged when you go to your department meetings. From your home screen, if you click your left button four times. It's going to take you to your peaks screen. This is the highest readings that your meter has seen since it has been zeroed. Make sure to hit the right button to zero those peaks out frequently. Hit the left button one more time and this is going to take you to the TWA screen. This is your time weighted average. The TWA screen is going to bring up your toxic gas sensor and we only use one, the CO. Hit the left button one more time and that is going to bring up your STEL or short term exposure limit. These two screens are talking about your exposure to toxic gases over the course of an eight hour shift. Typically our work does not involve exposure in that toxic environment long enough for these to be a concern. This has been a quick familiarization with the Ventus MX4. If you have any further questions, please check the stick for more information.